This video will outline the new improvements and features made in ADAPT PTRC version 2017. New building codes added are the Canadian A23.3-2014 code. To access and select this design code, so long as the units selected are SI units, the user has the option under the criteria slash design code menu to select the Canadian 2014 code. For compliance with modifications made to the shear capacity of beams for the Canadian code, the program now includes the input for clear bar cover for the side. The program now recognizes hybrid structures or hybrid design sections. When working in ADAPT PT mode, the program recognizes design sections where the PT force crossing the section is zero. As an example, let's take a three span beam where span two is an RC span. In other words, the post tensioning force in this span is zero. In this instance, we're going to zero out the force for tendon A, and we'll use add tendons B and C with their definitions for length. Here we can see that tendon B anchors uh, in span two, and tendon C anchors in span two on the opposite end. We'll go ahead now and assign forces to those spans. We'll go to tendon B and just arbitrarily set this to 400 kips and also tendon, tendon C and set this also to 400 kips. If we recycle, we now have a design that is a hybrid structure. So looking at our graphs again, we can see that the force for the red tendon or tendon A is zero. The force for tendon B and tendon C is 400 kips. If we proceed and design this particular uh, beam, we're going to achieve reinforcement that's necessary for both the PT structure and the RC structure, both of which might have different requirements for minimum reinforcement. With regards to the input for both PT and RC design mode, the program includes new settings, for example, the option to consider or disregard drop panels, drop caps, or transverse beams in the calculation for minimum reinforcement is now given. In general settings, when the option for two-way slab is selected for both conventional and segmented systems that include drop panels, drop caps, or, drop, or transverse beams, in the design settings, the program now gives the ability for the user to consider these drop or thickening elements for the calculation of minimum reinforcement, and that is shown here. Another improvement to the input is under the loading menu. When the user selects the option to include self-weight, and this is selected to yes, the program allows the user to override the calculated unit weight. For example, in this case we have normal weight concrete selected, therefore the unit weight in US units is 150 pounds per cubic foot. If you select this option, the program now allows the user to override the value. This is important if semi lightweight or lightweight concrete are selected and the user wishes to change the assumed unit weight for those two selections. When the Canadian code is selected either version 2004 or 2014 the program now always includes the contribution of drop panels, drop caps, or transverse beams for flexural resistance. This is in comparison to for example the ACI code which requires that the extension of the drop panel for example is extended a distance L over 6 to each side of the support in order for it to be contributing to the flexural resistance. Improvements have also been made for builder sum results. For graphical stress diagrams in builder sum and recycler, the program now reports the maximum and minimum tensile and compressive stresses on graphs. In the recycler window, selecting graphs, and showing the top and bottom fiber stresses, the program reports the max and min stress. If we exit out of Recycler and select the option to review the stresses in Builder Sum, we can also see selecting the top or bottom fiber stress, we can also review the max and min stresses in these graphs. For the graphical summary output and also tabular output of reinforcement for one-way slabs and beams in RC mode for ACI designs, the program now adjusts the required reinforcement when the minimum flexural reinforcement 
exceeds that of strength by 33 percent. For example, for a beam or one-way slab in RC mode, if we go into Builder Sum and use the pull-down window for the load combinations, we can see that both service and strength are isolated, and we also have the envelope of service and strength. If the service reinforcement exceeds the required strength reinforcement for either of the cases by 33 percent, the program will use the strength reinforcement as the maximum reinforcement for the design. And that becomes evident when we review the service case. If we go to the summary sheet and review the reinforcement in the summary sheet, this reinforcement both graphically and here where it's itemized as area of steel will be reflective of that code requirement. In previous versions of the software, the resulting reinforcement that was subject to that provision in the ACI code was only evident when you selected the envelope option. In this current version, it's evident both in envelope and again also in the individual combinations. Another feature that has been added to Builder Sum in the summary sheet is the color coding of locations where the shear demand exceeds the concrete capacity for shear, and that's indicated by the red line shown in Block 7 of the design summary. This occurs in both PT and RC modes for beams and one-way slides. And finally, in Report Generator, in both RC and PT mode, the program has the option to reflect the tabular report in both the Word document or the RTF file extension for Word, as well as an Excel file in the .xls format. For example, if we select the option to create a tabular report, the compact version, we can also select the option to create an optional spreadsheet report in XLS format. If we select this option, the program will produce both the Word document and the Excel spreadsheet. In this case, we can see the Word document shown here with different blocks selected as part of the compact report. And in addition, we get a Excel spreadsheet or spreadsheets that individualize the different blocks per sheet. So if we go ahead and select block one, you can see this is a user specified general analysis, etc. Block two, block three, and so on. If you have any questions related to the release of ADAPT PTRC 2017 or wish to upgrade, please contact us at support at adaptsoft.com.